Hello again and welcome to my garage, the home of many half-finished projects. And uh, here's another one that I've got on the go. It is a uh, really simple uh, small time sluice for recovering fine gold. Uh, I kind of got the idea from watching some videos on YouTube and I acquired some rubber matting of different types of uh, riffles and ripples and I took an old miter box that I had made a long time ago and I laid the material in and just stapled it in really quick you know if this works then I can make a really nice box and it's completely flat and glue it in and silicon the edges and stuff but for the moment this seems to be working pretty well I have for a pump a small statuary fountain pump and just a simple garden hose feeding the top nothing too complicated and I'm going to show you how easily you can uh, you can wash out gravel. Here I have in my bucket some concentrates that I brought back from uh, the North Saskatchewan River which are from my earlier videos. I'm just going to take a scoop and put it in the top here and uh, you can try and let it watch it wash away. Uh, quickly it uh, seems to take the, the rocks and stuff off the top and leave the heavies in the ripples pretty easily. I'll do a couple more scoops here. Sometimes you have to agitate the rocks a little bit but they, they seem to drop out fairly easily. And then what happens, I'll try and get a picture of the material dancing away under the water. It actually seems to work pretty well. Not sure how clear that is, but what I can see is all of the uh, silt just slowly getting washed away. And if we're patient, we do end up with little tiny specks of gold. This water is pretty silty, so it might be easier to see uh, if I run clean water through. For now, I'm, I'm just using the, it's a recirculation back into the same bucket, so it's pretty, pretty dirty, but the washing process is working well. And um, I am seeing little flux of gold, and this is sure a lot easier than panning and panning and panning. All right, maybe I will try this at another time with some cleaner water and a better camera to make it a little easier to see. But for now, that's what I'm doing. Seems to be working really well. And for the investment of a $30 pump and a few pieces of scrap rubber mat, uh, it's a really easy way to process your uh, concentrates.